For three weeks, I carted an empty box around without realizing that what I bought wasn't actually in it. <laughs> <laughs> David Steve. All right. Um, what, what, what was it? What did you imagine it was? What it was... It was a... <laughs> no, don't let me lie. It was a... <laughs> uh, uh, there was... In there was uh, a, a plastic Christmas tree. That... <laughs> That's what you thought was in there? Absolutely. For three weeks. But that's something you open quite quickly after buying it, a Christmas tree. No, it's about the suspense, isn't it? Christmas is all about suspense and... I don't think it's all about suspense. Yes. Because, in general, when you buy a box that you think contains an artificial Christmas tree, you just assume that it does. You don't go, oh, I wonder if it's really in there. <laughs> if, you, if you're seriously wondering if it's really in there, you'd check before you left the shop, wouldn't you? Yeah, maybe I'd chosen my words... Not very wisely. <laughs> Some of it got lost in translation. <laughs> Where did you buy it, by the way? Uh, at, at Argos. As you left the shop, did it not occur to you that it was quite light, this box? Yes, but what? And yeah, but now, now it gets interesting. Um, <laughs> No, because I shortly before that I'd started doing yoga to increase my uh, to improve my core strength. So I didn't think any of it. I thought in such good physical shape uh, I can lift that box without it straining me. The queues at Argos are huge. Yeah. How long was you in the queue for? For ages. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a few weeks later that Absolutely. you opened it, ready for Christmas. Nothing was in there. What happened next? Well, I kept the box, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so you went on to have this Christmas without a Christmas tree in your flat. I actually, believe it or not, I did use the box instead of the Christmas tree. As a tree? Because, yeah, because there was pictures of a Christmas tree <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> the saddest Christmas yeah. ever. I have one further question. Yes. Why were you carrying this box around with you for three weeks? When I say I, I, I didn't take it to social occasion, I didn't say to the box, <laughs> do we want to go down the where, park? Where, and then, the, where the, did then you... the box at what, end of November? Far too cold. So well, <laughs> I did not ask you whether or not you socialised yeah, well, with the box. I went... I tell you what, I took the box into town with me on one occasion. <laughs> I went all the way into Leicester Square with the box. <laughs> Why, on the occasion that you were going into Leicester Square, did you take it with you? That is a very good question, David. Yeah. And I shall give you the answer. <laughs> because the box and I... <laughs> going to do a comedy show. <laughs> On how many journeys did you take this Christmas tree other than the one from Argos to your flat and the one from your flat to so the comedy show in Leicester Square? Can we just keep it a bit lighter? He's not up for a war crime. <laughs> 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 not, not on this occasion, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> David, what do you think? What do you think, Sean? I'm sort of having it a little bit because <laughs> anything you buy from Argos, even if it's a big wardrobe, it doesn't weigh anything when you walk out with a box. <laughs> Are yeah. you an Argos man, Sean? I used to be. Really? Big time, yeah. What stopped you? Uh, fame. <laughs> <laughs> Tom. I, don't know, I think he's. I mean, it's a ridiculous of. story. But I mean. He's a canny, canny fella. So, should we go for true? Yeah. True? Yeah. We, we're going to say true. All right. Henning, truth or lie? This story is true. <laughs>